we closed out last week with this discussion of how scientific studies generally provide their results. And we saw, and you saw in the article that you did an analysis of, that quite often when you do an experiment, you present your estimate, say, of you know, amount of weight loss or increase in one rep max bench press or whatever your outcome is, plus some interval around it, usually a 95% confidence interval. Sometimes you'll see me abbreviate this as CI, for confidence interval. So that idea is saying that here's our best estimate for our results, but this range of values is uh, plausible, or our data are compatible with this range of values. And this is going to be something from, you know, increase in body size or increase in strength or whatever your outcome of interest is. Then we introduce the idea of a meta-analysis, which is where you take a bunch of studies and you stack them up and you look at the various effect estimates of each of them. So in this forest plot, that's the point estimate of, say, this study from 2007, and they have this uncertainty, this 95% confidence interval around it. And then you pool the results together to get an estimate of, I think in this case, this was um, looking at uh, training, the effect of training on exercise training, meaning on the mechanical properties of tendons. So we get by pooling those results together, you can all you can all barely hardly see it, but there's a point estimate, which is right here. And then there's an uncertainty band, which you can see that the outer limits of here, and here. And you'll notice that when we pool these results using this technique, called a meta-analysis, which I'll just write out. We can combine the results of many smaller studies, many of which may not have had results that were statistically significant, meaning their confidence interval did not uh, include, or their confidence interval included zero. Let's say I was doing a study of, I don't know, some supplement on uh, body fat, and maybe zero is here. Well, I didn't, I didn't observe a significant difference because, you know, my confidence interval includes both negative and positive values. But when you pool the results of many studies together, you get a much more precise estimate. And this idea of a meta-analysis is very useful when you have some uh, topic that you're interested in that is likely to have been studied before in the past. So that was a quick overview of interpreting the results of different scientific studies and thinking about this newer idea of meta-analysis through systematic reviews to combine the results of many different studies to get a better idea of what the true value likely is.